Ladies and gentlemen, in recent years, climate change has become increasingly apparent. Seen from storms, severe drought, global warming, rising sea levels, and ocean acidification. Based on data from NASA, global temperature is increasing 1.01 in the last 14 decades. Area of the ice in Arctic Sea decreased 30% per decade accompanied of increasing 10 cm sea level in the last 30 years. Imagine, what if this condition continues to occur in the next 50 years? The sinking of the islands? Hot weather without air conditioning? Lack of food due to drought? On the other hand, marine ecosystems are very closely related to climate change stability. Oceans absorb about 30% of carbon dioxide in this earth. This can happen because of biodiversity on the ocean. An example is the dominant photosynthetic organism in the sea, one of which is phytoplankton. This organism is located in the oceanic pelagic zone. Because this zone is so large, photosynthetic plankton account for about half of Earth's photosynthetic activity. Other biodiversity that was very important here is the existence of coral reefs. Unfortunately, coral reefs are communities that are vulnerable to environmental pollution. Then, many human activities can have a negative impact on coral reefs, like trash drift, chemical waste, and even mining activity. The garbage that is washed away greatly affects the preservation of coral reefs. Amount of sea garbage can change the clarity of sea water, thus blocking the entry of sunlight this will inhibit the photosynthesis of coral reefs, which eventually cause death, followed by damage to the surrounding ecosystem. This is the underlying reason why coral ecosystem can only live in clear water. Another role of the ocean in balancing the climate is as carbon dioxide reservoir. When there is an increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the ocean will absorb it and here, there is a pumping mechanism due to the difference in gradient. So, that carbon dioxide settles in the abyssal of deep sea. But if this is allowed to continue, deep sea ocean acidification will occur. It will also kill the deep sea coral, where this ecosystem also helps maintain the balance of carbonate ions, nutrients, and etc. On the other hand, Ocean acidification can also occur due to underwater dredging. This is due to the remineralization of carbon dioxide that should have been deposited in the deep sea abyssal zone. What will happen if the ocean ecosystem is not well preserved? Absolutely. In the next 50 years, the islands are sinking, the temperature is getting hotter, and the weather is getting more extreme. To avoid that, we can start from small roles, such as reducing the use of disposable materials. In addition, replacing good with organic materials is also very helpful in protecting the environment. So, remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. It sounds very cliche, but because the ocean play a large role in maintaining climate stability, small steps from us will mean a lot. I am fact Fathia Tumukiro from the Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Islam Indonesia, invite all of you to take part in protecting the environment for a better future of our planet. Thank you.